Typical Lambros turn then has five attacks. So as you can see, you can poke with a card such as on the XL2 marker, and then you can have a column. Then you can have followed up by the next column. And then finally your Vanguard can attack. And then that's when Lambros' skill can counter blast and soul blast one to restand a column. And if your opponent's grade three or greater, they can get plus 5k each as well to restand that column. And this enables you that fifth battle in essence. And at the end of the turn, now you get able to rewrite Favos from the soul and actually generate a second XL2 marker or XL1 if you want XL1. And so this is helping you scaling XL circles already just by doing this turn as well. Another key tip is that you can soul blast the Thavos that you initially ride with. And because you have no grade three targets, you then have no Vanguard. And due to the comprehensive rules, you have to choose a card from your soul to rewrite as your new Vanguard. So you're able to actually choose like your grade two to rewrite in that sense. Now, why would you do that? In V premium, it doesn't really make sense, but in premium, you're able to deny stride in that sense. 